Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to open a part file in Pattern, mesh it, then analyze it, and show the results in the same program. Also analyzing using Nastrin. We go to new. I have already a piece preloaded, uh, a model, some, uh, some part. Uh, we just name name our new document, whatever you like to call it. In my case is going to be called the workshop. Wait for the program to respond a little bit. Click OK on our tab that appears on the right. Then what we're going to do is open up our part file, which as I told you, I already uh, downloaded some from GrabCAD. You can do so. And saved it in the in the following format. Wait for the program to respawn. Then you click OK. You click the smooth shaded button to have a better view of your piece. Rotate it. Uh, place it where, uh, wherever you like. Wherever it looks best. We go to meshing. Create mesh. Type solid. Make sure these titles are already set. If not, look for them. Input unit. I wrote solid one, but you can also select the whole part. For value, 0 0.5, then you click apply. Wait for the program to respawn, and you'll have the following mesh, or something that looks like it. Then you go to loads. Displacement constraint. Name your displacement constraint. Input data. Now what you're going to do is add 0, 0, 0, 0, meaning that you don't want any movement on any of the three axes. Select applica application region for the place where you want to fix uh, your part. In my case, I'm going to be doing it in this region. So I just clicked on it, and as you can see on the right, uh, there's solid, uh, the solid part already selected. I'll click Shift and the other part too, Add, and then OK. Then I'll click on Apply. And as you can see, my constraints are already in my model. Now, for applying pressure, uh, you just change the object to pressure, uh, just your set name, whatever you like to call it. Select data, input data, sorry. Then give your pressure some value. OK, and click apply. Now we have to select where do we want this pressure to be applied to. The same, the same way as the constraints, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna apply this pressure on this side of the part, as you can see, on the outer rings. Well, the outer ring. So I'll just click on it, add it, then click OK, then apply. As you can see, pressure is already on my model too. Now, we're going to register a new uh, material type. In this case, it's going to be steel. I name it steel, then go to input properties, and give it an elastic modulus of 30 million, and a Poisson ratio is 0 0.3. We click OK, then we click Apply. Now we're going to click on solid, give our property a set name, then we go to input properties, we click on this, and we select steel, then OK, and select application region. So we want all of our part to be made of steel, so we select the entire model.
Add, click Add, then OK, then Apply. Now for our analysis, we're going to do the entire model as you can see. Then we go to uh, Apply. Just click OK, then close the dialog box. Now we're going to go to our desktop or whatever we have our Nastran uh, program. I have it on the desktop. Double click on it, open it, wait for it to respond. Now we're going to select our BDF file that has been created from Pastran. Then run it and wait for it to to respond. Now we're ready. All right. So we open up Patron again. Click on XBD. Then select results file. We select our file. Apply. Yep. Then we go to results. On the right side, we're just going to click on Displacement Translational on both boxes, then Animate. And as you can see, we have an animation of how our part can be deformed from the constraints and pressures that we are applying. Sorry, just to get a better view. There you go. If you don't want this animation, you could just uh, pause it on top of the dialog box. Pause it, go to the other tab, unclick animate, then apply again, and just have this fixed animation. That's it, everyone. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Comment, uh, thumbs up, and see you around.